life science or health care, uh, big data analytics is already in place. Taking an example like uh, avoiding uh, hospital readmission for a patient. So on very much high level, like how it is happening is like if classification theory is in place, why do we, uh, why do we declare a class? And thereby uh, having a class, we predict like or uh, like how far or how likely a patient is likely to get readmission again. Like this, like we also use uh, regression analysis to predict like uh, what is the likelihood like a uh, patient uh, condition would be in next few days, taking various parameters and dimensions in account. So on very much high level, what we are trying to say over here is in as is method, we have big data analytics in place in managing hospital management. And what is expected in next few days is uh, it it is expected like to replace the process of having a health professional and will reduce the uh, cost as because like if a patient is expected to have a wearables, wearables are readily available right now also in market like Google uh, Google glasses, even watches or wristbands. With that. A, professional, a medical professional can keep uh, watch on the condition of the patient throughout. If also like if you follow uh, memobaby.com, you can find like how an infant can be, uh, uh, the condition of an infant can be uh, monitored by a parent. So it's body temperature, it's heartbeat, it, is, it can be monitored by uh, parents and this all data will be given in, into their uh, smartphone. So over in the next slide, before getting into this, uh, let me on high level uh, say like what actually the IoT uh, defines. It is a computing concept that describes a future where everyday physical object will be connected to the internet and be able to identify themselves with the other device. So the thing is like, as I said, like there are many devices available in market which can give get you the data of your health condition. Like high-end watches, like tissue watches are there, which can get you the uh, heartbeat, calories, etc., body temperature, etc. And there are wristbands are also there in market which can collect the data and can, sh uh, but the thing is like what we are expected to do or what is it what is what it is expected to happen the next future is these kind of devices are expected to communicate to say smartphones or some other smart devices which would provide the analysis now say after uh, till 2020 what it is expected is more than 50 billion devices are expected to get connected so think how our lives will be after 2020 we can expect our refrigerators talking it will speak to us like what, how many uh, or what is the amount of uh, rigid guard is required or what is the amount of butter that is left in our uh, refrigerator. So taking that thing in account and if at all also we get the condition of the patient or condition of our family members in our smartphone, then we can have our recommendation engine to recommend us the how, what are the vegetables that are expected to bring from market based on the health conditions of family members. So if all the devices are connected, it will rather help us and make our life easy. So this is just a brief on IoT. Any questions uh, from your side? Right. Uh, just before we take the questions as well, right, uh, I just wanted to make a point which actually highlights the kind of connected devices we are talking about, right? When we are talking about 50 billion connected devices by 2020, the thing that you can probably understand is that the world population today stands at 7 billion. Okay, it's about 7.4 billion, which essentially means uh, that even if we grow to let's say about 10 billion by 2020 as the world population, we are expecting every person on an average to hold five connected devices, right? So there's going to there be five connected devices per person by 2020. That's humongous, right? That's that's the kind of uh, digital and internet of things and big data analytics that we're really talking about, right? Uh, so I just wanted to make a point there. So we can go ahead with the questions, Kaushik. 
Hello, Monarch.